Me and my husband may be going to the dealership tonight or this afternoon when he gets off work to have a sit down meeting and talk with everybody. And I think I'm losing my voice. My voice has been in and out all day. What are you doing in the background? TikTok. Can you sit down and listen to the floor? TikTok. How's work? Boring. Boring. So let me explain to you guys. So. Do what's right for us. Amyjo.r and she was like, try chocolate on pizza. So I have these semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm kind of debating should I melt the chocolate and put that on there or should I just put chocolate chips on the pizza? We're gonna try it, I guess, maybe try it both ways, but I'm gonna stop this so you guys can see what I'm doing. What about Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Kayla is doing her weird food combinations. I've liked almost every one so far. It's that is weird. Work. I know, I hate weird stuff. I eat like basic all the time. Like these people are gonna be like, you're just a weird eater. I'm like, no guys, you don't understand. Like I gag over certain stuff. And she's done some weird stuff, but everything has been good except what? You said was not good. Oreos and orange juice, that was weird. Weird, but was it bad? It tastes like a lemon Oreo, so I wouldn't say it was like horrible. That is so strange. White rice and jelly, guys, try it. White rice, grape jelly. Yes, right? it legit tastes like sweet and sour sauce. You know when you get the chicken and then you like pour mm -hmm. it on, we pour it on our rice? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Working on school, working on yes. school. <laughs> we are working Mama. on school this morning. Where are you going? Come sit down. You have to finish your test. Aiden is in the middle of a phonics test. Boo. I'm just kidding. Boo. Yay, I love it. Briley was sitting right there working, but she has now ran into the kitchen to make her lunch. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. I think she's making a salad. Yep, making a salad. Yum yum. I haven't had anything. I bought soup. I'm gonna make me some and, soup. And best friend, she made her own ranch, but I want a salad too, but I'm gonna wait until the ranch is done. I was gonna done. eat her ranch, but she's like, it's gonna take a while for it to like, get, get cold. cold. You can like, eat it though, because the buttermilk was cold. Yeah, yeah. but because they, you added the stuff inside of it, we tried it. And it's it's not, like, really can I have a salad? Is it? It is good, bruh. You just don't Let's give it a little bit of time and let the dressing you, get you cold. So that's what's going on with us this morning or afternoon lunch. Sorry, let me squeeze by here. Thank you. Um, got schoolwork going on. I'm editing our vlog for today because I didn't do it last night. Last night was, you know, Hello, hold on, I'm coming. Um, last night was kind of like a whirlwind with everything going on. Um, just to give you an update on the van, this morning my husband called me and said that they're doing some extra stuff to it. I don't know what that means. Um, he wasn't sure either. They did a few things to it for the steering being so tight and they have drove by and they've drove another and now they're all sitting down with like all the head managers and I don't know, owner of the company, I guess. I don't know. And they're gonna sit and talk about it, about what they're gonna do. And I just sent a text and said, you know, I appreciate what you're doing, but I don't wanna pay this much money for a van that's already had all these issues. They said there is another one, it's down in Miami. They don't even know if it's still available. Maybe sit down. They don't know if it's still available, but they think it is. Who wants a van that's gonna have all these issues or already has these issues, you know? I guess I'm frustrated because instead of replacing the rotors, they just resurfaced them. Why not put brand new, brand new ones back on it when it's a brand new van? Like, I don't get that. I'm gonna talk to them about that as well. But I'll let you guys know what happens for now. We're gonna work on school and I'm gonna sit and wait and see what I hear back from them on everything but yeah it's a mess guys it's a total mess is it good right now i'm still driving the rental 
and I'm not sure how long I have to keep that depending on what they decide but me and my husband may be going to the dealership tonight or this afternoon when he gets off work to have a sit-down meeting and talk with everybody because it's so hard to communicate through the phone when my husband's not here and I'm trying to talk to them he's trying to talk to them we're all trying to you know communicate together it just makes it a little more difficult oh and I think I'm losing my voice my voice has been in and out all day um, which I, my voice has been kind of weird the last few days anyway. I think just weather change, whatever. Kind of that same stuff Kayla had. But yeah, what are you doing in the background? TikTok. Can you sit down and listen no. to the floor? TikTok. I cannot warm up. Like, nothing I do, I cannot get warm. So I went and got my long sweater, whatever. It's actually Kayla's. <laughs> And I'm fixing me soup. I'm assuming it's like warm outside today because it's freezing in here. Because it says it's 73 degrees in here. But there's no way that is true. I'm like so cold. We are almost done with homeschool. I think, Bradley, are you done or you're not kind of, are you completed yet? Yeah. You have finished? Uh -huh. Oh, good. So I made some soup. Yum. It's like my favorite Progresso. I like bought three cans last night plus a can of chicken and rice guys i found a chicken and rice by progresso and it's gluten free did not know that so i was really excited when i found that my favorite is the chicken corn chowder it's like so good i don't even know how to explain it. it's just so good update i don't know what i said last we are supposed to go tonight and i think have a meeting with the manager of the dealership i mean i'm just gonna be honest i think he's being kind of crappy about the situation he doesn't really sound like he wants to work with us and he just wants us to um, be happy with what we got kind of thing. And how can you be happy with a car that's got so many issues and paying so much money for it? That doesn't work with me. So I asked, I was like, you know, if this can't be worked out, where's my Camry? I don't want my Camry back. So we might be reversing this deal. That might be the only solution we have is to reverse the loan and pretend it never happened. We Everybody can walk away happy-ish. Um, I'm fine with getting my Camry back. I really, really am. You know, the kids didn't want me to trade in the first place, so I said maybe this is just the what somebody telling us we don't need to do it. Can you clean this um, table up for me, please? Thank you. You know, I don't know what to do. My heart's being pulled so many different directions. Like, I have to do what's right for our family. I do feel like owning a bigger car was a great option for our family. You know, we've had a van before. We've had a flex. We've had, like, bigger vehicles. And I do think that's probably the best choice for us. But then again, I don't want to settle for a van that's going to end up having a lot of maintenance issues or service issues down the road. I mean, nobody would. Who in their right mind would pay that much money for a van that's supposed to be brand new, but it's technically not? If they're having to replace all the parts on it do you know what i mean i'm super frustrated and i'm just kind of sitting here not knowing what i can do and what are my options if he's willing to let me walk away with the loan gone like get rid of it say the deal never happened then maybe that's what we should do maybe that is for the best get my camry there's nothing wrong with my camry it was brand new you know if you've been following the vlogs you know i drove that off the lot brand i mean not the lot the showroom it was in the showroom i mean there's nothing wrong with that car and my payment would be lower than what the van payment was going to be so that's a bonus um i don't know i'm just i got a lot going on through my head right now my husband's like you know what do you want to do what do you want to do and i'm like honestly i don't know i don't know what to do it's like part of me is like i should keep the van you know for the room and everything but then look at the debt you're paying for for a van that doesn't even drive good and they've already had to do all this mechanical work on it like are you crazy go back to the camry we all fit in there for a year we can fit in there for another year or whenever however long it takes to find another van the problem with the van i got it's like i'm not gonna say it's top of the line but for that style it is it had everything plus additional packages on it and the nearest one to replace it is going to be Miami, Florida. There's a bunch in California, but this dealer I'm working with, they're not willing to go out of um, the East Coast to go get me one. Being rational and reasonable, I feel like the best thing to do is go get my Camry back, start over, and we can always look a van later. It's not the end of the world. You know, we have a car. That's the only thing I just want a car. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I wished this was live 
so I could just have full-on conversations with you guys and get your opinions and what would you do what would you do because by the time you guys see our vlogs it's already happened the decisions normally already made so that's kind of sad in essence of getting an answer for you guys like right away you can't but leave some comments down below you know what would you do it's already going to be done by the time you see this because we're having the meeting tonight and I'm either going to drive away with that van or I'm going to drive away with my Camry because I'm like, where's my Camry? And they said, we have it. I'm like, well, you best not get rid of it because I might be taking it back. What a mess. That's all I can say is what a mess. All right, guys, we are at Dad's work. Just picked up Dad. How was work? Boring. Boring? Were you busy? <laughs> not really. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's good, I guess. You weren't too tired, maybe. No, not good. <laughs> well, not good for money. I know. Okay, so we are now headed to the Toyota dealer, and I haven't officially told you guys what we're doing, but I'll fill you in shortly, and you shall see. But for now, we got to get there because we're supposed to be there in like 10 minutes, but we're going to be a little late. It's okay, though. I got to stop and get gas well, in this room. I don't have an so it don't matter. I know, but I got to get gas in this. Mm. I have to stop and fill it back up because it was on full. I know. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys shortly. Just stick around. Okay, guys. Do you notice anything different? No. If you do, comment down below. Yeah. We got my car back. Woo! Woo! You guys don't even understand how happy I feel to and have my car back. So I have a whole entire story time, not a whole entire story time, I'm gonna make it really short guys, but I need to tell you what happened when we got to the dealership. I'm gonna go ahead and sign. I'm gonna have a little story time to let you guys know what's going on and what happened at the dealership. Oh my gosh, it was crazy, Ridiculous. but you don't even understand how big of a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel, I feel so, so happy. much better. Room or no room? It was like we walked outside and I was like, you're back. Yeah, I just felt like so much better. So I'm going to go in. I did stop by and grab everybody dinner because we have been gone all night. So we have a big bag of junk and we're going to go in and eat our junk. Enjoy, enjoy a nice it, meal. And just relax, but I'll be back. So stay around. Next clip is going to be me telling you what happened. So let me explain to you guys why we have my car back and we do not have the van anymore. If you saw yesterday's vlog, make sure you go check that out if you haven't seen it. But if you've seen it, you know what's going on and what the issues were with the van we just purchased. Um, I'll leave a link down below for that video so you guys can hear all about what happened. We went to the dealership tonight. They said it was fixed. Me and my husband actually took it out for a drive and it was still not correct it still didn't drive good i wasn't satisfied the driving and the steering is still not right and i was just having a hard time with it because i felt like you know our family needed it for the room but do we need it if it's going to be a headache no so they still had my car and i asked you know what is the situation can i just get my car back you know what are they thinking we talked to a few different people including the head manager and everybody's story was different nobody's story added up I had one person tell me that they did not resurface the rotors, that instead they just had to rotate them. Then I go hear this guy tell me that no, we had to resurface them. We sat there and long story short, we got told three to four different lies between everybody. My husband finally looked at the guy, the manager, and was like, you know, the number one thing you guys need to know is you need to be honest. Be honest with us. We've been told four lies since we've been in this building tonight. They worked on my car this morning, they said, and worked on the steering on the van. Tonight, when we got there, the manager, the main guy, which pulled all the work report on it, said they hadn't even touched my car today. Just lies after lies after lies. At the end of the night, we sat there, and we sat there for a while now. Granted, we were there probably two hours. I looked at my husband, I said, you know, Something is just telling me that we don't need to get this van. I feel like if we buy it, it's gonna be a headache. We're gonna have issues down the road with it. We're paying all this money when if we're just, you know, patient, wait, try to find another one. I just, I wasn't feeling good about it. So we walked out tonight with my car and I told them I didn't wanna do it. And the guy totally understood. He said, we'll do whatever. We can totally cancel your contract because we've only been in the contract technically two business days. He said, we can cancel the contract 
on the car, on the van. We can give you back your, your car. Hopefully there's no hard feelings, blah, blah, blah. They were super nice. And I'm very thankful that they gave us that option because if we were stuck with that car having to keep it, I really don't know what I would have done. We left out of there, everybody was happy. I mean, my kids that had so much room in that van were like so excited to be back in my car. I couldn't believe it. As we're coming home tonight, I just looked over and I said, you know, I just have this peace. I'm happy, I'm excited, and I feel really good about our decision. So all is great. If you enjoyed today's vlog, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget, let's talk down below, so leave a comment. Also subscribe to our channel if you're not, and we'll see you in our next vlog, and a more normal vlog, because this has been the most stressful few days of my life.